Think of a Spartan. You think of tough, silent, disciplined, any words that involve being masculine. So after watching and reading a bit of Kanganashira, I have concluded that Oma Tokito acts like a Spartan. He is the mind of one, the body of one, the silent charisma of one. He is a modern day Spartan. So firstly, silence makes you powerful. When Spartan boys would walk down the roads of Sparta, they'd be dead silent. They only spoke when spoken to. Their thoughts focused on a mission at hand. Oma is a very good example of silent charisma. Just by the way he looks at people, he puts them into this kind of trance, either scaring them or letting them know he's a masculine figure. Throughout the show, we see him giving people this kind of death stare, and we also notice that he doesn't speak that often. He really only speaks when spoken to. Like I said before, he kind of reminds me of Sasuke from Naruto. His words are very rare, they're in high demand, but the supply is low, meaning he doesn't speak really that much. To add on to this section, Oma also has a very powerful body language and aura. In the show, they talk a lot about aura, the energy he gives off. You have to truly believe like Oma that you are a charismatic man. You can all look all you want, but you have to truly believe that you are charismatic. You are a confident man and confident in your energy. When Spartans walk past you, you would automatically knew just from pure instinct they were a Spartan. In the show, when Oma walks past people, they know straight off the bat he is badass. And the ability to lie down with your thoughts in silence is key. We never saw Oma spewing out his life to the world. His people don't really want to hear that. And you don't know them and don't trust them. So practice today saying less useless words. Stop blurting out random noises and words for attention because Spartans would never do that. And Spartans would be punished for doing such a thing. And silent charisma is very powerful. Oma held the key to being silent but powerful knowing when to say the right words and when to speak properly. A lot of the time, people speak off of emotion, meaning that whatever they want to say, whatever comes to their head, they'll just blurt it out right away. You have to learn to keep yourself under control. Have the awareness to be in control of your thoughts and what you say, because silence is very powerful and will leave people really thinking about who you are. Secondly, toughing it out. When Spartans fought, they fought with rage. No matter how many times they got cut, stabbed, or shot with arrows, they were going to push through all the way to death. Oma also has the same philosophy when it comes to fighting. He was going to fight to the death, making sure that he fought all the way. And that's exactly what Spartans do. And a lot of MMA fighters have the same philosophy. They're willing to die to win. No matter what it takes, they will die in battle. His love for battle drove him to win and conquer his opponent, which is why he was so extremely good. He was able to be so mentally tough that he could push all the way through in any situation. The reason why Oma was so mentally tough was because of his hard past. People become more resilient the more you beat them down. They fight back even harder to the point where they are broken, but they will keep pushing forward. And Oma's mind was calloused. It was covered over with a layer, a shield, a metal shield. The only way to become more mentally tough though is to endure pain and suffering. Pain of destroying your body in the gym. Objectives you don't want to complete are going to make you more disciplined and make your discipline better. In turn, making your mind more resilient. When people curse you out, flip you off, it just must bounce right off you. You must have the drive to get back up. The will to actually keep going. The will to tough it out. To build an iron mind like Oma, you must have an enemy in mind. Your enemy doesn't have to be a real person, and in fact, it should be someone you want to be. So I want you to take out a notebook and a pen and write down what person you would like to be. That is your enemy. When fighters are in fight camp, usually all they can think of is their opponent. The person they will be staring down in a few weeks from that point. Along with that, they are training as hard as possible so that they can win. And this is the reason you need someone to constantly be after. When Oma heard about his fights, all he could think of was his opponent and how hard they were training. And this is a very good mindset to have. You must have someone better than you that you can beat and want to beat. When you think of Spartans fighting, what do you think of? Them fighting an enemy, thinking of the enemy, fighting with rage. Thirdly, Oma's stoicism. A Spartan boy was stoic. He was quiet, able to control his rage, and was capable of doing lots of things. Oma was very stoic most of the time. He was able to keep everything under wraps, able to control his emotions and his anger, and able to tame that beast inside of him and let it out when need be. Especially in the first scene where Oma fights that first guy he ever fought in the street. He remains calm and collected in the face of adversity, but still able to channel his rage into battle in other ways. The stoics were quite humble and simple. 
Oma was a very simple and humble man. He preferred to live in a rundown mansion, only hunting for his food. And he was very simple. He was a simple person and didn't need much to please him. He basically rejects modern society by doing this because simplicity is the opposite of what the modern world is. The modern world is not simplistic. It's filled with dopamine, lying politicians and weak, lazy, fat men. Oma is basically flipping off modern society and living a simplistic life. Another stoic trait or ability of Oma's is not to grieve over the past. When people close to him die, he doesn't show emotion towards it, instead channeling that rage into battle. He believes it was the people's fault that they died. They were able to get taken out. Oma doesn't let his feelings take over his life. He shows this by not grieving over Niko Tokita dying, not letting things out of his control affect him. So. What are some ways we can be more stoic like Oma? We can practice everyday stoicism by simply not letting things out of our control affect us. If we can't change the situation, we can't cry about it. How about that? If you can't grasp the bull by its horns and ride it around and control it and change its directions, you can't do anything. It's out of your control. Our emotions can't sway us if we remain stoic. When a glass cup falls and splatters all over the floor, don't scream. Don't yell, simply sweep it up. The Spartan men won't flip out. You have to be resilient to things. Because if you're never resilient in life and you grieve for 10 years over someone that died 10 years ago, that's never gonna make you a more improved man. You're just gonna remain in the same position because you're grieving over the past. Things happen, get over it. All right, bro, thank you for watching. To end, you need to become a more modern day Spartan like Oma Tukita. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go check out the Discord server that we have. Only 100 members is the limit. We're keeping it a tight-knit, small community. And we're going to be doing accountability every day. I was thinking of doing meetings. I'm thinking of having all these things. We're gonna, there's going to be a beginner self-improvement course in there. And I'm going to have some other self-improvement courses in there that you can only get on there. So make sure to have a blessed day, bro. And get 1% better every day.